Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to show you how to build a brand and how to market that brand effectively online. So, if you're building a brand, one of the biggest things you will ask yourself after you build your website is, how do I get my website ranking on Google? Well, today that's what we're gonna dive into, so stay tuned to the video. Maybe you're a plumber, real estate agent, or a freelancer, and you're hoping to use the powerful exposure that Google can bring to get clients. Unfortunately, getting your website to rank on Google can be a long, difficult, daunting task. I wish there was a step-by-step -step guide to getting your business on Google, but it's not that simple. It's not hard to submit your website to Google, but it takes time and dedication to get your website ranking on the first few pages and especially the first few results. So today I'm going to share my experience with SEO and give you my top three tips for improving your website's rank. Let's get right into it. Now first, let's talk about the Google Search Console. First, you want to make sure your website is registered in the Google Search Console. If you haven't done this and you have a brand new website, signing up and adding your website to the Google Search Console can speed up the process of it being added to Google. If your site is already on Google, the Google Search Console gives you valuable statistics to let you know how it's ranking, what search terms are leading to clicks, and what you can do to improve your performance. So to add your site, search Google Search Console on, you guessed it, Google. But actually you can search it on Bing and it still comes up. I tried this because I'm a nerd and I thought it was hilariously ironic. Once you're at the Search Console page, click Start Now and sign in with your Google account. Add your web property by selecting the Add Property button and typing in your domain name. Once you've added your domain to Google Search Console, you'll be able to see statistics on your search performance after a few days. And if your site is brand new, Adding it to Google Search Console will ensure that Google has their bots crawl your site and add the listing if they haven't already done so. Now, having Google Search Analytics is a powerful way to understand which pages on your site are getting ranked in search, and it's especially helpful if you have a blog where you put out content regularly, because you can see exactly which blog posts are driving the most traffic. So now that we've taken a look at Google Search Console, let's talk about content optimization. Now content optimization is absolutely huge for SEO. You can understand analytics all day, but the very words you put on the page of your website and in the title of your website ultimately play the biggest factor in how it will rank on Google. It's critical to make sure you include the keywords you want your site to rank for in the title of your website. What does that mean? Well, let's take the company I co-founded as an example. It's called My Sermon Notes, and it's a church app platform that allows a church congregation to take fill-in-the-blank sermon notes on their phone, sign up for events, get announcements from the church, and do other things. Now, obviously, we want our site to rank if someone on church staff Google's church app, but the company is called My Sermon Notes. The phrase church app is nowhere in the company name. If this is the case for your business and your company name does not include what you do, whether it's real estate, plumbing, graphic design, it's absolutely critical that you make sure you include those keywords in the second title of your website. Now this is the title that will actually show up as the search result for the homepage of your website. So for our business, it reads My Sermon Notes, the interactive church app platform. We made sure we got church app in both the subtitle of the website 
and the description that shows below the title. Now you might be wondering how you can modify these sections on your own website. And well, each platform will have a different method. So you wanna check the support page of your website builder if you use Wix, Squarespace, or another platform. I use WordPress, and while there are multiple ways to control this information, I highly recommend that you get the Yoast SEO plugin. It's free, and it's been the most beneficial tool I have found to optimize WordPress websites for Google. Yoast also changes the way you write blog posts and page content. You'll learn a ton of concepts and best practices for your content, such as including keywords from the post in the post itself several times. These are things that Google checks for to make sure your site actually includes the content your post or page title claims it includes. If you write a post titled, How to Fix Your Shower Drain, and you talk about how to install a dishwasher in the post, that's a quick way to get Google to bury your post and not rank it well in search. The same concept applies to page and post titles as well. While it may be tempting to come up with an artsy title for your blog post, make sure you include a second title that will help Google rank your content effectively. An example of this might be, tired of showering in a lake? How to fix your shower drain. This is a creative, and also cheesy title that tells Google exactly what your post is about. How to fix your shower drain. But your potential reader may choose to click your article just because of that silly beginning on tired of showering in a lake. You know, it's just oddly realistic. So you can get creative with stuff like that when you're creating your titles. Now the third and final thing I wanna talk about is link backs. One big way to increase your site's spot on Google and get it higher up in the search results is to have a good amount of link backs. These are other websites that include a link to your website. The more credible that site is, the more their link will help your site rank. Let's say I have a blog about tech and TechCrunch writes a post and leaves a link to a post I wrote in their post. Because TechCrunch is an established site with a great SEO presence on Google, just the fact that they put a link to my post means that my post is going to rank higher. Google uses the mindset that if a credible site like TechCrunch links to it, it must be important. This concept applies to any site, even small ones, but it won't have as dramatic of an effect. Still, taking the time to put your website URL and your social media profiles is a great practice because this gets the ball rolling and gives you a few link backs to start with. Now, in case you're wondering how important link backs really are, Google actually shows you exactly how many external sites link to your site in the Google Search Console. Google has a whole page and report dedicated to this information, and that's because it really does influence your website's ability to rank in search. I have seen where just getting one link back on a credible site legitimately bumped up a site in the search results by one, two, even three spots on the page. So link backs are a big deal. Well, that's all I've got to cover today, but before you go, I want to leave you with a word of warning. Make sure you understand that to rank on Google, it takes strategy, work, and a ton of patience. While you absolutely need to optimize your content and make sure you set yourself up for success by applying these practices, it will also just take time for your site to rank on Google. If your domain and website is brand new, I would expect it to take about six months before you start ranking halfway decently for any keywords. And it may take a year or longer to really establish a reputation with Google and begin to rank higher in search results. And still, if you have a generic name like me, Christian Taylor, just something that's very generic and a lot of people have that name, you may never rank on the first page of Google, let alone the first result. Unless you're an Olympic athlete, <laughs> you may just be stuck on the second or third page 
just by using your name. So sometimes you have to be creative and come up with a brand for yourself that's unique, easy for people to remember and search, and that you're confident will rank when people search it. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. I'd love to hear your experience with SEO down in the comments below, so do be sure to drop a comment. I love replying to your comments and being active in the comments section. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time.